I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Ah, there are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh. Never mind. We can use other things, like this jigsaw and this doll's house. We want it even bigger, Daddy. I'll go and see if there's anything in the office we could use. Aha! <laughs> Look, Daddy, we've added some more bits and bobs. Very good. And I've found these tubes to make a tunnel. Wow, the marble will go all around the room. This is the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, can I go first? OK, Daddy, you have to put the marble in there. Ready, steady, go! The marble is going all around the room. Ooh! It's going all around the world. <laughs> there it goes. Dinosaur! <laughs> Where's it going now? The marble has rolled out of the bedroom, down the stairs, through the hallway and into the front room. <laughs> is a marble run. <laughs> it's bouncing everywhere. Ah, Goldie the fish. Whew. Got you. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what was all that noise? It was the noise of the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days is we get to watch important TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. <laughs> bye bye, Susie. I'll be back to. Quick, Susie! Pick you up later! <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! 
Peppa's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. Daddy Pig! Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow! Fantastic! You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready? Steady? Go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Peppa. You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. Hooray! <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. <laughs> Peppa loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. Watch this. What is Daddy Pig doing? Ooh! Now, who can tell me what this is? A flower! <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy! Oh, 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 I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now, where are my old painting things? <laughs> Daddy! Why are you wearing that funny hat? Oh, oh, oh. This is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Peppa. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. Ow. How does it work? You hold it in front of things, and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> Like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. 
Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr. Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr. Dinosaur is there. Little fish, Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is making a tea party for the doll family. Here, George. I'm the mummy and daddy. You can be the children. <laughs> <laughs> children? It's nearly tea time, so you must wash your hands. <laughs> George is putting the dolls to bed. Night, night. George, why are you putting the children to bed? They're having a tea party. <laughs> George likes putting the dolls to bed. Children, come downstairs right now, or you won't get any cake. George isn't listening. He's too busy putting the dolls to bed. George, if you want to play with my doll's house, you have to help with the tea party. Here, George, you can fill the teapot with water. <coughs> Children, come downstairs right now. Mummy, we're coming. <laughs> George is going to fill the teapot with water. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. <laughs> George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Chocolate biscuits, Daddy. We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty, Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. <laughs> All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm! I'm a wriggly worm, I'm a wriggly worm, I'm made of clay, what shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands and I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray!
Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely, bright colours. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh we haven't heard it for years. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig cannot find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> Mummy! Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> again, again. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm, I think you should keep. Everything. <laughs> I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know! I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. Hit <laughs> <laughs> him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Pepper. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Let's dance! Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. <laughs> Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way! Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Peppa and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished. You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Peppa. Let's see George's movie first. <coughs> Dinosaur! 
George is pretending to be a dinosaur. That's a very scary dinosaur. <laughs> oh dear, George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? Maybe you should ask Mummy Pig. Mummy said that we can play it later. Well, that's OK, then. But I don't know where the disc is. <laughs> It's my turn. <laughs> what on earth is going on? <laughs> Well, I see the computer is working again. <laughs> Burr has found a box of old clothes. This is Mummy's dress. George, let's dress up and pretend to be Mummy and Daddy. <laughs> Here is Daddy's hat. <laughs> and who is Daddy's coat? <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> this is Mummy's dress. <laughs> This is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> I need some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> For some powder. <laughs> Lovely. Now for some lipstick. <laughs> what a pretty Mummy Pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> 
Mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Peppa, I was just saying hello. I'm not Peppa Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <laughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello? Yes? Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh, dear. You're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh, no. What's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy. It's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear him rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. <laughs> First, you paint a big circle. George, that's the wrong colour. <laughs> now you paint the flower's petals. George, <laughs> that's the wrong shape. <laughs> now you paint the stalk of the leaves. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> George, you have done it all wrong. <laughs> Now, what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. <laughs> it is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? I'm sure. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint a dinosaur. Brilliant. 
This is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow! Ooh. I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Peak. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is my daddy. Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. Can I do the mouth? OK. My name is Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK. A scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There. A scary dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Lunchtime, everyone! Coming! After lunch, we'll do a puppet show. Hooray! <laughs> Auntie Pig has made spaghetti for lunch. This spaghetti is delicious. Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. What do you mean? We are completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic! Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> the puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. <laughs> Ah! It's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek! <laughs> oh, I say, that's very good. Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes? Delicious! <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <laughs> yes, you can help me make the batter. First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. Delicious. This pancake is for Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> we begin with demi plié. Demi plié. Now a little jump. Petit jeté. With grace and 
beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. The ballet lesson is a lot of fun. <laughs> Raise your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? Meow. Nay. Oh, 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 loves dancing. Everyone loves dancing. <laughs> mommy, mommy, we all dance to swans. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye-bye. Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me. For bedtime, <laughs> Peppa and George have their bath. <laughs> Peppa likes splashing. George likes splashing. <laughs> Peppa and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you drying into your pyjamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh. I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> Peppa and George like stories. <laughs> when Peppa goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. Peppa and George like the Red Monkey book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a Red Monkey. And this Red Monkey had a bath and cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed and soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, Red Monkey. Peppa and George are asleep. Good night, Peppa and George. Sleep well. <sighs> now Peppa and George are asleep, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. Now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. 
George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr. Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> Ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Pepper's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants a go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. This is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! <coughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! Pig. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. What seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <laughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> Tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew. It tastes of carpet flavored yogurt. Ugh. It tastes of Flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr 
a brown bear kind of looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Ooh, Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <sighs> oh, yes. Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <laughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. <laughs> Shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. <coughs> now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. Hello! My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? <laughs> no, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! wow. So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> it is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. 
Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. This is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle, and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. Got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow. How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <laughs> What are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes. <laughs> Now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! Oh, lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. First, we have to wash them. Pepper and George help Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad. Made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce. 
or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mum and Daddy! <coughs> what? It's time to get up. It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Peppa? No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Daddy? Can we see the cuckoo now? You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now, let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem, Cuckoo! <laughs> cuckoo! <laughs> What a cuckoo. noisy little cuckoo you are, George. Cuckoo. Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see Cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play! Mr. Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Dinosaur. George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes! <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <laughs> oh. George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny. 
because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh, no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> the instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built... Whoa! Help! Oh! Oh! <laughs> what on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear, poor Daddy Pig. <laughs> Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> No. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Peppa, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> what do we have here? Dinosaur. That's right. It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. 